hi welcome back to my channel welcome back to my reading bookie video i'm so excited to come on here and talk about bernadine everisto who is the 2019 winner of the booker prize for her book girl woman other i was really excited about this book same as like the whole country i think went mad for for this book and it was everywhere and so i bought it i read maybe a page or two I put it down and I never touched it again. If you know already, I've got a vintage shop, I have a Depop shop, I sell on eBay. And because I'd only read a part of it, I said, you know what, let me just sell it. And it went really quickly, obviously got good reviews from the the buyer. For some reason, I just wasn't ready. This, this must happen to you if you read. It's like sometimes you're not ready for a certain genre or you're not ready for a certain story or the size even of a book because that one was quite chunky and quite obviously where I was at that time. I think it was last year. It just it wasn't working with me. It just wasn't. Fast forward a year later or so, I watched a documentary of her where she was just so captivating in terms of like her life story was amazing her story as an author was amazing just how hard she's worked just how far she's come and just one beautiful interesting family dynamic and cultural like her cultural dynamics and just fascinating woman and from reading that I said let me try again because they mentioned some books in there that I thought okay let me try some of those and so I purchased two um I got Mr Loverman and Blonde Roots. When I tell you, I wish I'd have started here and then moved on to Girl, Woman, Other because these were just so juicy. These two were so juicy. I started with Mr. Loverman. She was talking about it being like a Caribbean, a story about like Caribbean families, etc., etc. I thought, okay, this is kind of on my wavelength. This is something that I'm, I'm, I'm just interested. I'm interested. Mr. Loverman is a story about a, a family, I guess, from Antigua, specifically a man, husband and wife called Barrington and Carmel. It explores their journey of them moving from Antigua as youths and coming over to England, building their life, building their family their two, and their two daughters. But the, the major twist of it is that Barrington is gay and he, do you call it closeted gay? I don't know if that's like an actual thing that you can say, but he's definitely on the down low. He has a boyfriend, Morris, who also came from Antigua and they've been best friends and lovers for 40 years or many, many years. And it's just exploring like his journey as a Caribbean man and this kind of experience of culturally living in England, building his life here, having family and all just everything it just goes into the dynamics of everything and it's kind of on the edge whether he will come out to his wife because he's increasingly more unhappy in his marriage and I've been holding the book the whole time <laughs> I've been holding the book up the whole time gosh and so yeah it's about whether you know will he come out will he speak his truth um, his lover Morris is quite eager for him to to live a, a, a real life with him now to live like a real love with him and real honesty and to live in their truth and so I won't give any spoilers I won't let you know what happens please go and read it because it's just fantastic it's so well written in terms of like you're just there you're just there every step of it some books it's like you can ha have a great time, but this is like really connecting with the characters. And I don't know whether that's something to do with my own heritage and obviously being of Caribbean background myself. And it's like, I can recognize some of these characters in life or, you know, some of the activities, some of the cultural things, even at one point they're talking about mental health and that's explored with the family and what the family think of it. And it's like I understand a lot of these things so I don't know whether the book is a bit more attractive to me because I'm Caribbean because I have that heritage I don't know I don't know whether somebody of another culture might you know read it and enjoy it just as much I believe they would because it's, it's just a very dope book and it's just I'm getting really interested in like stories that I haven't heard and 
people that I haven't heard and things that I don't know and like that's becoming so much more interesting to me and so to have this kind of take on like I say my own heritage to have this kind of take on you know a world that I know but it's different this is not stories that we hear in my culture so it's a twist on that and it's interesting and and I hadn't read one thing as well I hadn't read a book for so long for for a while and so this was the perfect size the perfect story and just the perfect juicy it's a bit juicy and recently somebody called me and said oh they would like to start reading and this book straight away came to mind because it's something that like even a non-reader if you if you don't read at all this is something that you could read 